Hello everyone. Um, I'm sure you're all aware of the role of genetics as far as your say looks or your skin or hair is concerned, right? So obviously, it's me. Kafi hard tak apke genetics role play karte hain ki ham kitna acha lagta. But genetics ka role kya hai as far as your health is concerned? So, especially the role of genetics for thyroid disorders is what I'm going to be talking to you about today. Don't forget to subscribe to the M Fine channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update. First and foremost, what we need to understand is what exactly is thyroid gland. So, thyroid is a gland that sits in your neck. Okay, and it releases two hormones which are known as T3 and T4. Now, thyroid gland is stimulated by a hormone released by your brain known as TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. Once it gets stimulated, it releases two more hormones which are known as T3 and T4. Now, thyroid-related disorders can manifest in different ways. So, either it manifests as something known as hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. Now, hypothyroidism means that your thyroid gland is not functioning as well as it should and is functioning lower than normal or is an underactive gland. And what happens in hyperthyroidism is that the gland is hyperactive. So, it is more active than what it should be. Thyroid ka gland jo hai, it influences every gland in your body or every system in your body, starting from your brain to your cardiovascular system, your digestive system, bone and health, as well as reproductive system. So, if the thyroid gland has any problem, then in all systems, there is a problem. Up. Now we need to understand is what is the role of genetics as far as manifestation of thyroid disorders is concerned. So first and foremost, it's made what interesting uh, incidents to dekha jata hai ki thyroid disorders seem to be more common in women than in men. In fact, it is three times more common in women than men, especially when it is hypothyroidism. Now, is me kon kon se genes involved hai aur aisa kyu hota hai? Uske baar me abhi bhi studies chal rahe, so we don't know the exact reason as far as that is concerned. Second thing that is shown is whenever there is thyroid disorder or a patient with thyroid related problems comes to us, there is always a positive family history. So thyroid disorders do run in families. It is considered to be familiar and hereditary. Now, what is the difference as far as hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism is concerned? Both run in families and both are influenced by genetics as well as family history. Now, one very interesting subset of thyroid disorders known as autoimmune thyroid disorders. Now, these are such disorders where your own antibodies hai, they go and attack your own cells. So, antibodies are responsible for attacking any foreign cells or foreign invaders into your body. But when they go and attack our own cells, तब उसे ऑटोइम्यून कहते हैं। तब ऑटोइम्यून डिस्थायरोइड डिसऑर्डर्स जब किसी भी पेशेंट में होते हैं, शायद वो हाइपोथायरोइडिज्म के फॉर्म में हो या हाइपरथायरोइडिज्म के फॉर्म में हो, there is always a positive family history and there is always some genes that is involved. अब इसमें necessary नहीं है कि जो family history है जैसे relatives या parents और first degree relatives have to have only autoimmune thyroid disorders. They can have any kind of autoimmune disease and it increases your risk of manifestation into an autoimmune thyroid disorder. इसमें दो तरीके बहुत common होते हैं एक जिसको बोलते हैं Graves disease which manifests as hyperthyroidism. और दूसरा जिसको हम बोलते हैं हाशिमोटोस थायरोइडाइटिस जिस जो हाइपोथायरोइडिज्म के फॉर्म में मैनिफेस्ट होते हैं और इन दोनों में जैसे मैंने पहले बताया कि फैमिली हिस्ट्री पॉजिटिव यूजली होता है इधर बोथ पेरेंट्स और वन पेरेंट्स में ये हिस्ट्री होता है या कोई फर्स्ट डिग्री रिलेटिव में होता है सिब्लिंग्स में होता है एंड डेफिनेटली दिस हिस्ट्री इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगेन इसमें बहुत सारे जीन्स इन्वॉल्व हुए हैं अब ये समझना इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट इफ यू हैव अ फैमिली हिस्ट्री डू यू हैव टू बी वरिड और इज इट हंड्रेड परसेंट that you will definitely get a thyroid disorder. We should not firstly panic or worry about it. If there is a positive family history, you should be aware of the different signs and symptoms as far as thyroid related disorders are concerned. So once you educate yourself regarding them, you can be on alert if you develop any of the symptoms related to thyroid disorder. Second, 
when you don't have symptoms do you have to go for regular checkups so definitely agar family history hai an annual thyroid function test can be done and more importantly tsh matlab thyroid stimulating hormone ka test kiya jata hai jo ek screening test hota hai which if found to be positive that is either the levels can be high or low based on which your treating doctor or physician will advise you about the further course of action so these are the two best ways to counter it agar family history hai one is be aware of symptoms and the other is get an annual test done which should be more than enough to catch this problem early and treat it as well so in conclusion definitely genetics do play a role your family history do does play a role um, in thyroid related disorders so being aware is the best way forward don't forget to like and share this video for more such videos do subscribe to the m fine channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update